In this tutorial, we will get you up and running quickly with Visualizer 2.0. We will cover the following topics. Registering for a cloud account, requesting a trial, installing the software, logging into Visualizer, and finally showing you a few basic features to get you up and running. To get started with Visualizer, we will need to go to the Kony website and request a new trial from the link in the top nav, or you can go to Kony.com slash trials. Kony offers trials for Kony Studio and Frameworks, allowing you to import prototypes from Visualizer and use JavaScript to build natively rendered apps. We can also start a trial of Kony's management solution for securing mobile devices and applications. But today, we are going to start a trial of Visualizer by clicking the Start Your Trial in the Kony Visualizer column. To register as a new user, simply fill out the information on the screen, and Kony will send you an email to verify your account and start using Visualizer. Here is a sample of the email. We can click Activate Account, and this will take us to the final registration screen to fill out a few more pieces of information before we can start our Visualizer download. For the trial, Kony actually creates a unique cloud instance that allows you to share your project with other designers or natively render your application on a mobile device using Kony's functional preview, which we will cover in another tutorial. Creating a cloud account is pretty quick, and when it's completed, you will see a success screen like mine. We can hit the Getting Started button to complete the process of downloading Visualizer and provisioning a Visualizer cloud. On the Getting Started screen, you can request a new trial, download the software, and view tutorials and documentation. First, let's start the download of Visualizer. Then, let's request a new trial. You can purchase a cloud instance or select a 90-day trial. In our case, we are going to select a 90-day trial. You will need to assign the cloud instance a recognizable name that will be displayed in your cloud management console. And you will also need to assign a cloud URL to your instance. Once this is complete, you can request a trial and wait for a success email. While waiting, you can go ahead and use the installer you downloaded to get ready to use Visualizer. Once you've installed Visualizer, you will need to use your cloud account to log in and get started. Let's get oriented with some of the basics of Visualizer. First, let's start a new project from the Projects menu. Once you've started a new project, you will notice the project panel is loaded. Here's where we will add new forms to our project. Let's add one now for a mobile device. As you can see, we have two types of forms, VBox forms and Flex forms. The VBox form provides legacy support for Kony applications, while the Flex form leverages a more dynamic layout allowing you to create robust layered screens. Let's add a flex form now. We can drag widgets from our widgets panel directly to the canvas and position them with the mouse. Or we can use the look panel on the right to adjust the location of a widget on the canvas using device pixels, percentage, or absolute pixels. The Skins tab defines the styling of the widget, such as gradients, color, fonts, and more. You can change from a multi-step gradient to a single color using the drop-down, as well as change the color of the widget using the picker. Finally, you can switch between devices using the two drop-downs here. Notice I can show how the design will look on a native device as well as a device rendered on the web. I can also choose specific devices in the second drop-down to ensure my UI displays correctly across devices. This tutorial should get you up and running with Visualizer, and I hope you view the other tutorials on Kony.com that will dive deeper into Visualizer's functionality.